Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Cancer for the week starting the 19th of December. And here we are at the end of the year and you are contemplating your life at the moment and particularly your past relationships. We have Mars, the planet of action, making you feel that you want to make some changes in terms of your sense of adventure. You want to do something adventurous and you may squeeze it in before the year comes to an end. You want to travel you want to experience people who are unusual eccentric or different in some way you want to stretch yourself you, you're feeling very open you're feeling very open to speaking your mind be careful you don't put your foot in it though um, because we have mercury going retrograde mercury is going retrograde in your position of relationships it may be that the ghost of an ex comes a knocking on your door it may be you bump into an ex it may be that an ex texts you emails you facebook's you or you bump into them and you're like, whoa, you know, what does this mean? Does it mean that I'm meant to get back with this person? Does it mean, you know, is it horrible? Have I dealt with my past emotional romantic relationships? And there may be some misunderstanding in that reconnection. It's very hazy when Mercury goes retrograde. It's like, wow, what's going on? But it's happening for you to heal and to look back and go, okay, what were my relationships like then? How have I changed and who am I now? And it's a great opportunity to sort things out. But as I said, it can be very confusing. Now, and you're stepping into a time actually, thanks to the sun going in your position of relationships, where relationships are your focus for the next few weeks. Now, we on Christmas day, whether you're into Christmas or not, does not matter, because on the 25th, all of us are getting a gift. And your gift is connected to your career. You're sorting things out. You're committed and you're determined to shift, transform, grow and blossom in your career. And the universe is giving you some sign, even though randomly it's Christmas day, there's a sign or an understanding about how you're gonna do that. On top of that, you're feeling a little bit more peaceful with some family dynamics. Perhaps there's been a block in a relationship. Perhaps there's been something that's been bothering you about a family, someone in your family or a partner. So you get that in perspective now and you realize your power in that situation and you're responding in a way that's very, very powerful. And you're also opening up to changing and transforming. And you may see that someone in your family's got a little bit of an unhealthy pattern going on that you yourself may have taken on or you've got a similar unhealthy pattern and you go, ah, oh, I get it now, I'm gonna change that. Anyway, have a stunning holiday, have a stunning Christmas and uh, I hope you have a fabulous 2017. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. I'd love to say a really big thank you to everybody that voted for me in the Soul and Spirit Awards. I was blown away by the response and I'm really humbled and touched to tell you that I won Best Love Psychic, Best Loved Astrologer and Best Spiritual Website. So thank you so much. As you may know, it's not easy to get a reading with me. I do them very sporadically, but I have a fantastic team of psychics who are brilliant. Here's a little one minute, because I know you, some of you have complained about being too long, one minute video about them. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul. I like to think that it's a very individual a feeling. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves. Time out, where we can really spoil ourselves. But they're still quite shocked when you give them very accurate information. When I get validations, it's amazing. I feel integrity is a huge part of it for me because without that, I wouldn't be doing this work. It's about guidance. It's about hope. It's helping people have clarity, I think. I love that light bulb moment. When I finish work, I come off the phone and it's like, yeah made a little bit of a difference. It's heartfelt in here when I read for a client. I love making a difference to people's lives.